down. Dave just put the skin in. Catch yeah, they're drilling away and now we've got Keith with his grinder. But um, <laughs> it doesn't matter, I can get the camera up there and you can tell me what you're doing. Well, Phil, Phil's been doing this doorway around here, so he's, he's built all that up and put these extra ones on here. So I'm marking all the holes out now to get that skin on there and the one above it. So. You can do that without the formers. Yeah, yeah, the, the formers are on the way apparently, so, but yeah, do them two skins, make the five times and then we'll have the formers in and then we'll be able to carry on a bit more. So. Oh, good. But now Phil's got this doorway in, because it's a bit more rigid and a bit more structured to work from. So. Yeah. Alright, oh, thanks, Dave. Yeah, okay. What are these from? These are uh, of the fuel tank. Oh. Because they've got to be, it's going to be sent away to uh, for here. So yeah. what they need is they need pressure blanks. Yeah. So what, when they've done the repairs, they can pressurise the tank to make sure it doesn't leak. You see, if you sent it down there, they'd make the pressure blanks and probably charge you about 200 quid a, uh, yes. a blank. Yeah. to make them. On this blister here, will you have to make a new one or is that one okay? That one's okay, I think it's been re-welded before where it must have got, there's a dent there, yeah. so it must have got hit and it must have had a leak. Yeah. So someone's done a little bit of a weld on there. Yeah. But I've got to take the, because uh, these are all studs. They yes. weren't bolts, they were studs. Yeah. And uh, the, as Jerbs is taking the things off, the studs uh, have sheared off. Mm -hmm. So I've got to take them all out. Because inside it's it's like, um, instead of it being like anchor nuts, this one here is like a, a casting. Yes. All the way yeah. that's drilled and tapped. Yeah. And there's the same on the other side. They're like little castings. Yeah. The day one and okay. came. Yeah, all the lenses done and all, all on now. Is the, the the new lens or the one? No, I recovered the old one and off it, of Jane's ones. Yeah. What I did was, um, where the holes are all in the wrong places, I cut holes out, uh, opened them out, and then I, I got some um, acrylic uh, bar, yeah. and then cut slices off it, and bonded them into the holes oh. to yeah. repair them. And then polished them out. And then polished it down. Yeah. You can see them yeah. where they are. But on but the... it actually stops it cracking. Yeah. Because they were so close to the edge. Yeah. Once I'd filed it so it actually fitted, yeah. they were, you know, like a sixth one of them was like a sixteenth of an inch yeah. of material left between the hole and the... Yeah. and I just re-drilled the re -drilled it. You can see it there. In the middle one at the bottom. Still in focus. Yeah, I've got it now. Yeah. 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 That's the plug that's in there. Oh. Not interfering with anything. It looks a good job. Yeah, and then I've put some um, PRC on the back so the the stuff wasn't actually touching the, the metal. So there's like a rubber seal between the two. And then eventually, well, once it's uh, gets painted and that, they'll just seal right the way around it to make it completely watertight. <coughs> Good job. Oh, look. I see you drill a hole to that. If it's not that, dying. yeah, it was slightly smaller yeah. because the the holes they put in, what caused it before, they put counter sunk 
screws in and of course as you tighten it in it forces it out mm. and that's what is causing it to crack. And then that is virtually cemented in, is it? Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a stuff called uh, tensile, yeah. which is like acrylic yeah. um, cement. Yeah. It's, it's very similar to, you know where you make the Airfix models? Yes. Yeah. When you smell that, oh, it's, yeah. it's that sort of, yeah. and it actually melts it. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, it does, it melts yeah. it, yeah. but actually bonds and fuses it together. Yeah. And exactly that, we've just painted it round the hole and then just pushed it in, let it go off. It doesn't take very long and then it just basically welds it together oh. and then just polish the lens up. I think a, a, a new one, you, they were talking if they had to kind of make the mould and everything, they were like 1,600 quid each. Right, and you can see from this shot that the two spars, the front and rear, are as you look at it, top and bottom, are not vertically aligned, but are parallel with each other, forming a type of a parallelogram. Try doing this with a normal drill, you'd never, never do it. What sort of drill is that? Then? This is a, it's a mag drill. It's a, um, sort of, yeah, yeah. It's not like, not like a normal drill bit. It actually cuts a circle, and then you spring load a pin in the end. Yeah. Pushes a little billet out. Yeah, yeah that, that's the centre of the hole. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't actually cut like a, a normal drill. Yeah. You get absolutely, absolutely precise holes, no... Yeah. Ream no. it out and everything. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Huh? Yeah. And the bolts, do they fit tight into it, so there's no play? Yeah. What have you got in here? Is we got a... That's a, just a pin. Um, there's a big one there, that one. Yeah. That's, that's for the front spar. And then the smaller one. That's for the rear spar. Yeah. Yeah. And will you put bolts in there or will you just leave the pins in? That's a, the pins. Yeah. The, the bolt, bolts will be too expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll just be expensive. Yeah. Especially ones that as big as that. Yeah. Yeah, we found a way of fixing it at the, at the bottom. Yeah. So, I uh, let's say, what will you do um, to take the weight or to, to trap it? Yeah. Well, I'll probably drill a hole and put, stick, stick an arc in there with a big washer on it. Oh, okay. it. Yeah. We're going, we're going to have a different fixing for when we do yeah. uh, Jane's wing. Have a proper fitting in there, I'll actually bolt on. But we'll not be taking this to its component parts with Jane's wing. Or it'll, it'll be knocking on the jig and then we have to build up on the jig again, just like we did with the, uh, the wing tips. Yeah. And, and the um, the fins and the rudders. So it'll have to be a bit more substantial on that way to actually encompass the whole end. So when you have to come to fit your, your spar into there, you know it's in exactly the right place. Yeah. That, that's yeah. not good enough. No. It's all right for this. Yeah, because it's not going to far. Yeah. For the real thing, we'll, we'll, we'll have to have a different fixing on there. Mm. Still, this is all what you you use in this jig and uh, yeah. the well, wing to sort it's, out. Yeah, it's a big learning curve. Yeah. This. You know, we've had to do several modifications yeah. on it already. I see you've got the um, leading spar, the front spar. 
So you've got the straps up there with a yeah. kind of... Yeah, just waiting for some bolts to bolt them in. Yeah. The end one's got bolts in it, but we haven't got any washers. Oh. We're just waiting for them. They're, they're all drilled, lined up, ready to go, they are. Yeah. So once this is in, once they're in, we can jump up with the wing big time. Yeah. Yeah. Start doing some serious work on it. Yeah. Oh, good. That'll give me a good start for next year. Yeah, and this one's a lot. Yeah, the top ones. Yeah. As you can see, we've got an angle on them. Why is that? Because your, top, your, your, your front spar is at an angle. The rear spar is dead level. Because yeah, so it gets it's narrower at the end, but yeah. the, so that takes up the, oh. the angle because the spar will come up to there. If you had a flat, yeah. it would be sat on the spar like that. Yeah. Yes, because obviously the wings taper down, so something's got to be yeah. at an angle. Yeah. Oh. Very interesting. This drill, never seen this drill before, this drill is a bit like a thick tube with the bottom face is like a milling head and ream of flute going up the side of the tube. The centre of the material that you are drilling becomes a mandrel, travelling up the centre of the bit. I assume travelling up the bit and keeping it on line. 